So every day you should check the confluence of your cells. Um, the confluence just means the percentage of the well that's covered by the cells. And usually we would have a microscope inside the hood for this, uh, but today we've just got an EVOS on the bench top uh, for the purposes of filming. So you should aim to pass off your cells when they're about 70 to 80% confluent. Um, so Luke will now show an example of this. So it's just an estimation of how much of the well is covered by the cells that are growing. Um, so Luke will now show an example of some very sparse cells. As you can see here, there's only a, the colonies are very small. They're not really too compacted and they're definitely not grouping together. So you would want to need these at least another couple of days. Yeah, so these would be approximately 10 to 15% confluent and they're not ready to pass on yet. So next he's going to demonstrate uh, showing a well that's approximately 90% confluent. So um, slightly overgrown. Here we have a perfect example, it covers the entire screen. Everything's merged and squashed together. So if this view was representative of that entire well, ideally you would have passaged these cells uh, on an earlier day. But if that's not possible, you would want to take confluence of this into account when splitting these cells because the growth uh, may have slowed down as the cells all group together. So it's important to take into account um, the confluence of the well as a whole rather than just one area of the well. So you can see here in this example, this area of the well is approximately 60% confluent, but that might not be the case for the entire well uh, in its entirety. So now we'll just um, move across to the center of the well. And you can see that there's quite a bit of variation in confluence. So when you estimate the confluence of the well, try to get it um, try to estimate it for the entire well rather than just one area. So it's also very useful to have a grading system for your IPS cells. So here in CGAP we grade IPSCs from A to D uh, based on several aspects including how compacted the cells are, uh, how smooth the edges of the colonies are and whether or not there's any differentiation present. So all the cells we have today are A grade and you can see how smooth the edges of the colonies are. Um, the cells are quite compacted. Um, these are all things that you look for uh, when you're grading your cells. In an ideal world you want a nice circular colony as well, but that's obviously not always the case. Whereas here you can see the colony kind of runs right across the screen and there's smaller colonies. These will all eventually group up. But this is still what you what we would call a, a good colony here. Okay, so today we're going to be working with two uh, IPS cell lines. They're currently in E8 media, and we'll demonstrate a simple media change. So it's going to be a relatively sort of short session. The cells require media uh, changing every day, and every well needs two ML media in this case. You can tell which cells are more confluent than others based on the media color. Usually when they need changing, they're a vibrant yellow. The cells we've prepared here have been split in a number of different ratios, so some are more yellow than others, uh, which kind of gives a good gauge for what's needed. So Alex has just got the cells from the incubator, and she's now going to demonstrate how to media change. And in this case, she's going to be changing three wells. But, for example, if you're doing lab or any culture in your own lab, you can change all six at once. 
But the advice here is as long as the cells are the same cell line, it will reduce the risk of contamination significantly. So she's just taken the media off. You can easily have a plate tilt here or do it by hand, which Alex will be doing. Um, everyone has different preferences. In my case, I do prefer a plate tilt. So that's six mils taken up. And now I'll be adding two mil to each well. And again, in CGAP, we try and pipette along the side of the wells just so the force isn't so vigorous on the IPS, although they are hardy themselves anyway. And that's the suspect discarded off, and that's everything. <laughs>